Welcome back. Section 1 Football Coaches Association Media Day. Joined here by Horace Greeley, head coach Joe Kearns. And coach, uh, welcome back, obviously, into, into Section 1, into the league play, uh, competing for the, in, for the section championships and the state championships. It's got to feel good. Uh, I know you, you, you took it upon yourself five, six years ago to, to really kind of grow the program. And how do you feel you've done these last uh, five, six years? I'm excited and I couldn't have done it without the guys right next to me. Uh, when we went into the independent league, we decided we were going to go for two years and try to rebuild and grow the numbers and then come back to section one, which is where we wanted to be. And it's funny, I was looking at a picture today from four years ago and our program had 40 people in it, freshmen through senior. And now our program has 78 people in it, freshmen through senior. So. We're doing the right things, and these guys are having fun doing it. So it's it's really more about them than than us. But it's it's just a great feeling. How how have you done? What what what's, what have you done to make that to make that grow like that? That's a great question. Uh, well, I'm a relentless, uh, I guess, recruiter. So I'm literally walking the hallways, uh, looking for anybody that can chew gum and walk at the same time, and recruiting them to play football. And then really it comes down to, are the kids having a great time? Do they feel empowered? And are they gonna tell their, their friends to come out and play? Um, so that's been happening. And going to the independent league helped us too because we won a lot of games. We had a lot of success there. Uh, we went eight and one one year, seven and two the next year. So kids are coming to games, watching us succeed. So they wanna be part of it when we go back to section one. So tell me who you brought here tonight. So who are you guys? So I brought Beckett Bloomgarten, Alex Edenbaum, Julian Ash and Christopher Butler, and they are our captains this year. We'll let uh, Becky go first. Just tell me a little about offensive and defensive line. Is that what you play? Yeah. I guess, you know, by your size. and uh, <laughs> You got to you gotta put some fear to the guys on the other side of the line. Just tell me about the, the group that you have in the trenches for the season. So, yeah, we're returning. I mean, we lost three guys on our line, but me and Chris are both returning starters for the offensive line. And we're, we have a lot of kids coming up in the year below us, and I think we're really working together well as a unit. I think the chemistry between the, the starting five for now and we're working on that with the backups is in, incredible. So I'm really excited to see how we can do this year. This guy worked so hard to get the program to where it is now. And, and how much do you feel now as a senior to kind of live up to that and, and, and help continue keeping it growing? I mean, for sure. I, I mean, I remember when I played youth football, we didn't really have a youth football program. So I went to our monk and he, would, he was my gym teacher in K through five or whatever it was. And he was always saying, by the time you get to high school, you're gonna be playing for Greeley football. So to see that actually come to reality and also to see us now have a very good youth program, modified program, middle school, everything like that is, is, is really cool to see. Let's move it down. And tell me about camp so far, how, how things have gone, how have you looked as a, as a group and some, uh, obviously some veterans coming back. What do you, what do you like? Um, since camp started, I think the, the guys are all getting after it. Um, Lots of new people, lots of seniors this year. Um, we also have some new sophomores joining the team, two new kids that, that are really good, Ben Weinstein, Jason Kim. Um, I think this year is a little different than last year because last year we were in the Hudson Valley League. We, I feel like the intensity wasn't as much as it is now, and I think we're just working a lot harder. Have you, have you guys as players had to help coach recruit guys onto the team? Have you done that? And can you? Yeah, yeah 100%. Um, and so he calls us into his office. He show, we have his whiteboard with all the names of people that he thinks could play football. And we, pictures or no? Yeah, pictures. Is like, it just the names? Find them in the, okay, okay. And then we scatter through the hallway, get these kids. Every day we go up to them in, in the in the cafeteria in the hallways, play football, play football, play football, and that's how we get our guys. That's awesome, <laughs> Jul Julian. Right. So. Just I, I've heard a lot about you as as a, as a player, as a quarterback. Just tell me about you know what you've done in the off season to kind of position yourself for a big year here. Um. Us as a team, we've been training really hard in the weight room. If not in the weight room, um, other people are playing other sports like lacrosse, and they're all getting their work in. Um, and yeah. Do, do you feel, again, like returning now to, to play teams like your town, I looked at the schedule, it's, it's all the best teams in basically section yeah. one. Is there, is there pressure on you guys to go out there and, and compete? And, and, uh, and I think there's um, definitely pressure, but I think we're really hungry for wins. And our goal this year is playoffs, and yeah. Chris, tell me about the uh, you know what, what you've seen from the team in the uh, in the preseason, and uh, you know the, the build up here, you know to, to the first uh, Friday night game. I've seen a lot of guys that are putting in the effort to get better every day. I mean, we have a good amount of 
people that it's their first year playing football, probably 10, 15, and seeing them grow from the first day or even the summer camps to where they are now, it's been amazing. Has Coach given you some assignments of players to go find in the hallways to uh, recruit yeah, you? Yeah, there's, there's always a couple. You know, We make the joke that if you're not getting recruited by Kearns, you're not going to school here. <laughs> Very good. Coach, he's done an amazing job. Seriously, I have a lot of respect for that. And guys, good luck, and I uh, hope you appreciate uh, what he's done, man. Good luck. Thank appreciate you. It. Thanks. Thank you. All right.